Oh, hello, fellow Vehicle Sim fans. Welcome back to Coravac Vehicle Sims. I'm Marcus Coravac. Today we'll be continuing with part two of our new series, the September Sidewinder Spaceship School in the Starter Systems. That's with seven, as in sept S's. Last time we flew from Dromi to Matet and back. Today, well, we'll see. Okay, so last time we loaded up with some missions, so we've got some cargo, we've got some return cargo, and we've got those two courier jobs that we took uh, back in the other system to deliver out to Tenere Prospect here in this system. So we're going to quickly do that. It should only take a moment, we're just going to fly over to there. Alright. Let's go. And this time. We have discontinued our uh, automatic docking, so we are going to be flying out ourselves. So we always go out on the side of the green. And try not to crash into anything. That's a plan at least. Prospect is actually behind the uh, planet here. So, the very first thing that we're going to do is get away from our station far enough that we're no longer mass locked, get up to speed, and just gently go around this planet without crashing into it. Crashing into planets is not recommended. Alright, mass lock is off. Up to full speed, and there we go. All right, we're deep in the gravity well of this planet, so it is slowing us down quite a bit. So it's three days to our destination, but it's getting better as we get up and out of that gravity well. As we get further and further to the planet, there you go. So your frame ship drive will automatically slow down the closer you are to any source of gravity. And then, as you go further out, the maximum speed will slowly creep up. You can see it doing over on the throttle side there. All right, so up to 10% the speed of light and rapidly climbing. Now we're up to one times the speed of light. Still going. And our destination just keeps getting closer and closer in less than a minute now. And now it's time to slow down as we get closer. Try to keep that seven second time on target.
And as you can see, as we get closer to this planet, our speed comes back down again. There we are, one times the speed of light, and rapidly slowing. Probably throttle up just a little bit. Still nine seconds out. We don't want to overshoot our target. That would be a bad thing. Beautiful blue green planet. Really nice rings. I like these rings. And the Mirror Prospect is actually orbiting this moon over here that is itself orbiting this planet behind us. tell that from the name, so this is uh, Dromi 2A, so it is the first moon, A, opening the second planet, 2, of the Dromi star. It's got a sort of pumpkin orange theme going on. Target that was sloppy of me. Let's try that again. That's better. Right now within 7.5 millimeters, so request docking. And it assigned us to pad 1. And again, because we took off our advanced docking computer, we actually have to do this docking ourselves. So to figure out which of these two is number 1. Still speeding, there we go. And we're actually approaching this thing backwards, I think. Nope. That nope, worked good. I'm not quite as hot a lot of a lander as the automated system is right now. That's okay. All right, we've arrived somewhere, so mission board. Always mission board. So I'm going to complete this. 26k from this one. And I still need your cordial, perfect. And second one, 17k. Neutral cordial, okay. Yeah, we're already full, so I'm not taking any more missions that involve cargo. Alright. So nothing else to do here. We'll quickly take a look at. Nope, oh, this is a very minor little outpost. They have maintenance and nothing else. No outfitting. So 
Apparently not much else to do here. Alright, so we're going to take off. And... Head back to Matet. And if you look over in the extreme right hand corner, you'll notice that this jump is going to take about half of our remaining fuel, which is mm, a tiny bit of a problem, but not too big of a problem. Oh, that's pretty. So first thing we do when we arrive at the tet, as long as it's a scoopable star, we can scoop some fuel off of it and replace all the fuel we've been burning so far. The other thing we need to do is throttle back so we don't crash into the star as we come out because we no longer have our uh, super cruise assist. It is scoopable. Can feel scoop, yes. Alright. Alright, so the idea is that we are scooping hydrogen off this star and trying not to cook ourselves while we're doing it. Heat is slowly rising, fuel is rising much faster. You can see the steam rising off of our cockpit because we're warming up. And then we're starting to cool off again. I'm used to having slightly faster fuel scoops than this. Oh well. Yes, I see that. Alright, let's pull up a bit. down again. Where's the star? There's the star. Yeah, I might need a faster fuel scoop than this. I shouldn't have cheaped out quite as much. Almost done, and...
Oh, goodness. That's enough fuel for now. Nothing damaged. Did not cook anything on that Avenger. So yeah, bigger fuel scoop. Or more frequent stops for fuel instead of waiting so long to, to do our first scoop. 20 seconds. 13. There we are. Ride seven seconds all the way in. If you look over in the bottom uh, left hand corner, you can see that we've got a speed target and a distance target. So we want to get both of those lines within those few zones. Unfortunately, as we get closer, our speed automatically comes down. At roughly the same rate that our distance comes down. Although as we fly right past this planet at close range, we're going to slow down just a little bit more. So we'll just gently throttle up. And try not to overshoot our target. Yeah, that planet is pulling on us hard right now. And as we pull away from it, we want to also then throttle back down slightly so we don't overshoot our target as we get closer to it. Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> shadows over here of these patrol ships against the hull of the station. approach this pretty close to head on because of course it's got all this fencing around the, the mail slot that you don't want to bump into. Honestly we're in a tiny little ship so it's sort of like parallel parking with subcompact in that you'll fit pretty much anywhere. <laughs> Still good to get in the habit of not crashing into things. Alright and 19 is right there.
And guess what? Mission board. Deliver. Complete. 40,000. Deliver. Complete. 23,000. Forgotten about some of my missions. Uh, whoops. I came fully loaded with outbound cargo and forgot that I had promised to return with these things separately from those. Whoops. 40,000. Five thousand. All right. So we actually have to go back to a high tech system and buy agri medicines and basic medicines. Total of six tons of them for this other batch of missions. I promised we have ten tons of cargo space. That's going to take six of it. All right. We can take these two missions as well. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten of ten. They accept. Accept. No, we're good. All right. So we've got. Four, six. We'll take two, nine, two, four, six, ten, twelve. Whoops. All right, looks like the fuel scoop's gonna go off. <laughs> oh, this one is the other direction. This is going back to Moss and Dock. I didn't miscount. All right, so we need to take some tea. Alright, none of these missions involve cargo going back to my tent aside from two tons of tea. Tea actually pays reasonably well. Let's just take ten tons of tea. Cargo hold at maximum capacity. It's not the most profitable one. I already brought tobacco over and didn't feel so great about that. Alright. And I think everything's good on the ship right now. I should come with a 2D instead of a 2E. That's nice of them to install. Not really worried about any of those things. Not worried about weapons. Right. Quickly return back to the tent.
Right, now we have an interesting thing where our destination is actually behind us. So we're going to wait until our mass lock light goes off and then go just a little bit further so we don't get re mass locked. So there they are. Alright, mass lock is off. And one of the things that's interesting about the ships is they actually turn their best when they're in the blue zone. They need to be at full throttle to jump. And back home again to Dromi. Did not throttle down upon exiting and just went straight into a fuel scoop. Just to get a sense of how close to get. So I get my fuel, but I don't get too much heat and cook myself. Look to Moss and Dog. Hmm, close enough to fall. Moss and Dock is not far from the star where we jump out, so it doesn't take very long to get there. Especially out here in interstellar, not interstellar, inner planetary space where there's no gravity wells around, we're easily cruising. Seven seconds. Again, we're going to try to come around on the inside just a little bit because that's just going to be where the mail slot to get in is going to be. Just try to size up. Beautiful. Alright, with your gear down, you go half the speed that you would with your gear tucked away. Doesn't really make any kind of sense, like aerogen dynamically or anything. It's just a just a thing that happens. But basically we'll be going as close to 100 as we can without going over because 100 is of course the speed limit this close to a dock. And let's not... Uh, 
not forget our docking clearance. The six is going to be right near the door. The lower the number, the closer it is to the door. not making any changes to our ship or anything, so I'm just going to stay out of the hangar and not go in. Once again, mission board, we're going to deliver those two tons of tea, for which we're going to be paid much better, 20000 for those two. And closing in on the end of neutral. And we're going to go back and to the commodities market, into sell, there's our tea. Sell, perfect. Alright, and let's stick up here. Two units of pesticides, two units of agri-medicine, two more units of agri-medicine, four units of, alright. Pesticides, two, two, five. Agri-medicines, four, one, two, three, four, bye. Basic medicines, four, one, two, three, four, bye. Perfect. And, before we leave, mission board. So I've just taken a mission to deliver something in the system here to Atkins Hub. This is actually on the surface of Dormy 3A. So the third planet, first moon off destination. We're going to go land on a planet. Well, a moon. And, okay. Yeah, everything else is good. So I'll just pop down to spin around. Wait for that mass lock light.
714 light seconds is just a little bit further than the distance between the Sun and Earth. And once we get out a little bit and stretch our legs, it's going to bring that estimated time of arrival way down. Just about to hit a nice surge of speed. Trade, trade rank. We are now up to Peddler. As you're running around the galaxy, trading just a little tiny bit of cargo at a time, just a matter of tons. A few tons here, a few tons there, it does add up slowly. Oh yeah, up to almost 250,000 credits. Seven seconds, slow down. Oh, this is beautiful. So this gas giant over here at the elaborate ring system, it is glowing purple because it is actually almost a star. Oh, that's nice. Very, very faint rings. Just catching the purplish light. Alright, let's focus on our landing. Atkins hub here is on the far side of the planet, thus the dotted lines. It's be nice to be landing in not quite sunlight, but planet light. There we go. Slow down a little bit. check here is you want to come in at a nice shallow angle so we don't come up short see over on the side of our HUD we now have a altitude so we've got OC which is orbital cruise and we've got DRP which is drop so we want to be over our target by the time our altitude gets down to DRP Four hundred kilometers, three hundred kilometers, two hundred kilometers. Now we're about to hit drop. Steep by this last approach here.
first, I've got to get within 7.5 kilometers of them, though they'll reject it if I ask for further out than that. Oh, there she is. Just very suddenly see the rings, too. Gorgeous. Alright, within 7 kilometers, request docking, where are we going? Four. All right, four is the one that's closest to us. Somebody else just landed on one over there. Somebody's currently using three. So he's coming into two as well. Well, how's it acting up? be here. Alright, so mission board, we have some missions to turn in. Well, a mission to turn in. 34,000, not bad for flying. Just a couple planets further out from where we were. Perfect. Anything interesting? <laughs> Source will return to units of T. For your job to Matet, that's where we're going anyways, so we'll definitely take that one with us. Um, cargo's already full. Alright, that's about it. Alright, so we're just going to go and turn in these missions, and then we're going to be done for this episode. Let's launch. Let's find Tet destination. Ship detached, you may be one ready. There's my tent. So this works out nicely because our destination star, you just barely see it there, is directly over where we're already pointing. So we don't need to lift off and go around the planet. We can just basically jump right from where we are. Straight up into the sky.
lost track of the star. Where's the star? Well, that'll be enough for, for now. Seconds. Ten seconds. Seven seconds. Perfect. And that is about as fast as you would ever want to go. You can hit a target at six seconds, but it's a little trickier. Station. Again, we're just going to sneak over a little bit on the inside here to make our approach a bit less painful. If you keep an eye on the radar at the bottom, you can see what the planet is versus your destination is. And if you can try to get those sort of in a line with you right between them. Another thing you can try to do is keep an eye on the picture over in the targeting side on the left hand side we'll show you the station in the orientation it's going to be when you get there and that should about do it Stopping. Access granted. Set down on landing pad two niner. Side is facing towards us currently. But it is rotating around. I'm trying not to crash into anybody else out here. In here. Oh, look, there's two nine lined up perfectly in our window. Bottom because we're going to be done for the night. Oh, 
20,000. Oh, we're getting close. Thousand. There we go. Cordial. Perfect. Twenty-six. And seventeen. There we go. Perfect. And that should do it for tonight. So let's just take a look at our status. Trade rank peddler. Moving our way up to the next rank. We are at uh, 379,000 credits. So we can, for example, easily buy a fancy ship. But of course, we're going to stick with our Sidewinder for a while longer. Easily buy an Eagle, easily buy a Hauler, easily buy an Adder, easily buy a Viper. Probably going to be able to buy all of them if we wanted to. But that will do it for tonight. Alright. Thank you for joining me again uh, tonight. Keep an eye out for part three as well.